Hey, what's up everybody? Just uh, doing a lesson with Jeremy Choi. Um, some of you guys have seen him on my Instagram, so we're just kind of warming up with some pitches right now. Um, we're officially going into the off season right now for Jeremy. All his tournaments are over. He plays, he competes on the GTA Am Tour. So off season's officially begun for him. So what he's doing here right now, what I mean, most of our swing stuff has been done. We're gonna do some small things now this off season to get the speed back up. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're just going through his wedge system working on some partial half wedges. So what I like with the wedge system, what I've done with a lot of my clients is we establish key distances. So we're starting at 40 yards for Jeremy, um, where he hits, uh, is that a 60 degree Jeremy? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 60 degrees. So he, he goes, he goes, he does what he feels like is waist high to waist high for, for 40 yards with a 60 degree wedge. And it typically tends to go pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll watch him hit a few more, then we're going to go into a 60-yard 60 60 yard shots. So the key to the wedge system is really making sure you have key, key distances. So, so for, for him, we have 40, 60, 80, and 100 yards, feeling like he does the same swing with four different wedges. Really good there, Jeremy. Perfect, good. Uh, go 60 yards. What's your next watch, 54? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so for Jeremy, his, his 40, 60, 80, 100 yard shots would be basically feeling waist high to waist high with a 60, with his 54, with his gap wedge, and then with his pitching wedge. That way there's not, much, not many variables involved, so it's very easy for him to replicate it on the course. And then from there, that's a pretty good shot there. And then from there, it's much easier to get the in-between distances where we usually just kind of feel stomach high to stomach high with the same wedge to get 10 extra yards. So I, found, I, I have found it's been a pretty successful system for most of my clients. So, you know, if, if half wedges is something you struggle with, maybe you guys can want to try it out. And I'll have a video on that on my channel as well in the near future. So we're just kind of warming up still with Jeremy. Um, big focus for us this off season is to get his speed up and consistently up. We've been as high as mid 160s bossy with his driver, which I'm pretty happy with. But it tends to it tends to kind of die fluctuate. I shouldn't say die down. It just kind of fluctuates a little bit too much for our liking. So we just really have to do our best to maintain it for the duration of the season. Um, and as well through, through the mechanics work we do in here, Jeremy also trains quite a bit at LPS, uh, Layler Performance System with Clance Layler. Um, how often do you train, Jeremy? Uh, in the off season, four days a week. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so Jeremy trains four days a week in the off season, which, which is great. Um, I personally train three days a week. That's, how I, that's what I found to be successful for myself. Whatever you find you successful for, for you as a player, you, you stick with that. But typically, three, four, five times is all a, it's all in a good realm. Do what you can. Uh, what, what does your workout consist of, Jeremy? Um, well, all four days are relatively different, but we work on technical first. Uh -huh. uh, then we work on strength. Uh -huh. Then we work on conditioning. Gotcha. So, so I guess the, the technical side in the gym, what make, making sure your form's good, you're, you're moving well, your joint can allow you to start stacking weight on top? Correct. Okay, yeah. cool, yep, yeah, perfect. And then the strength stuff are usually more, um, so we usually start off with a lot of like the, uh, the snatches, the cleans, the jerks, uh -huh. that kind of stuff. That's, uh, that's more of a jumping kind of thing. Right, for sure. And then we go on the strength and technical stuff, which is like with squats, like gotcha. squat, front squats, bench presses, chin-ups. Gotcha, cool. And then afterwards we do some accessory works. Gotcha. So that's you. Gotcha, gotcha. So are, are, are you doing your, your old lifts with the heavy lifts at the same time, or do you? Yeah. Okay, gotcha, cool. Really good there. Oh, oh. <laughs> pretty good. All right, let's go 80.
Yep. Yeah, we'll use your approach wedge, gap wedge. So for, for those who don't know, Clance, Clance Lever is probably one of the best strength and conditioning coaches in Canada, or in the world actually, I should say. Trains a bunch of uh, high-level athletes and aspiring high-level athletes. So it's definitely a good environment to train at. Um, I think you, you were saying you, you, it's kind of like a, like a team, team training environment. Uh, yeah, every program is individualized, uh -huh. so I got my own program. Uh -huh. There's certain things that everyone's doing, for example, everyone's back squatting. Gotcha. Back squatting. Gotcha. So it may, it may seem like you're doing similar things, Right. those are the fundamentals. That of course, yes, build. yes. The, the big lifts that give, right. you the, give you your foundation to go into the old lifts. Exactly. Gotcha. Everyone, cool. depending on their goals, right? Of course. So this year, I actually signed up to do the, uh, the Remax long Oh, yeah. Well, not Remax. I want to participate at least in a long term. Uh -huh. So I, the goal is to you know get a little bit faster, right? For sure, for sure. Pretty good there. And the reason why I like starting with these half wedges, one serves as a warm up to warm up the body, but two, it just helps us refine our our awareness for how to hit these partial shots. Um, so the technique behind this is it's pretty simple. You, you go narrow stance, no hinge. All you do is maintain the no hinge with the wide arc, and you just kind of turn waist out of waist high, and it typically keeps the face pretty square, and you can see the, disperse, the dispersion has been pretty good so far. So we'll hit one more, and then we're gonna go into 100 yards. Really good there, good. Really good. What are your uh, what are your um, workout benchmarks you're trying to strive for this off season? Uh, probably, I don't know if I'm get there, but probably two point five times my body weight for for the back. Okay. Nice to have. Uh huh. So Is that what a lot most of the professional athletes are striving for? Elite. That so the elite so athletes. If you're talking about international standards. Uh huh. That's, Two and a half times your body weight. Right. Cool. Right. You about, like Canadian standards, you know, like, and two times your body weight. Right. Kind of like two, the, double your body weight is already very, very good. Yeah. But if you want to get the extra, right. extra next gear in your in your body, two and a half is really the international elite level, eh? Right. Gotcha. Get to that. But more importantly, um, it's not just strength. It, it's really to build the speed around. That. Of course, for sure. But obviously, the, the, the more weight you can move at a high speed, the faster you can potentially give into the club. Or, or in any sport you play, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Really good there. So you can see when Jeremy hits these, all the finishes look pretty similar. Back swing looks pretty similar. Um, his waist high swing in reality, when you see on video, ends around left arm parallel, but it's very, it's very common um, with, with a lot of players feel where their swings are actually bigger than they feel, but that, that's no big deal. It's, it's the most important thing is you know what you're feeling for and you can replicate that. Really good, but you can, I really like the finish that Jeremy has with these shots. Long, long arms helps to maintain the, maintain the wide arc through the swing. Um, Contact tends to be very clean because the arc stays relatively quiet. There's not much um, shortening and lengthening of that arc, which is good. Really good. I like it. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go seven iron. Yeah, we'll start hit, hit, making some full swings. A little bit steep there, eh? Mm -hmm. Pull down. Yeah. And with Jeremy, even though the swing looks pretty good, there's still always things to clean up. Um, first thing that get, tends to get sloppy for him is he likes to pull the hands down to start the transition. Um, very common for a lot of good players, actually. Better players just tend to 
be able to get away with it more often than, than the lower level players. But we want to really try to cut that pull down out of the swing so he can rely on his pushing and rotation in the swing to get that club and speed back up. That's okay, I'll let you hit a few more first. You can feel it's steep in transition, eh? Yeah. So show me, show me the rehearsal that we like. So just stop at the top first. Sure. Okay, good. And then squat and rotate and keep things behind. More down hinge, more down hinge. Okay, good. Really good. Yep. So relax. And then try to just do that in your uh, actual swing, okay? Closer. <laughs> it's closer. You're definitely rotating more than before, which is good. You can feel it, eh? Yeah. Sure. Do some do some half speed ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy's swing has definitely come a long way since day one. Better? Much better. Good half speed there. Um, Jeremy, so when we first started, I think this was three years ago, two and a half years ago, three years ago? Yeah, it was around two and a half years ago. Yeah, two and a half years ago was very typical of most uh, amateur players. Too much, too much trail arm fold. So for him as a righty, his right arm folds too much in the backswing and he's hinged too much. So very narrow, which was not good. That's a lot better there, actually. Good. That was half speed? <laughs> No, oh, I mean, it's still lower effort. Let's just say lower effort. It's still lower effort. <laughs> sure. Which is bad. Like, it went like 108, almost 80 yards. Yeah, 170 in the air. I was good. You gotta let the club shallow out a little bit earlier, right? Eh? Is it in the hole? Yeah, I just got a. You, f you found it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a hole in the screen right now, so we'll just gotta fish the ball back out. So go to the top again. And you're still loading the inside right heel, right? Okay, hold it there, good. And then make sure when you so squat and rotate slowly. Okay, good. So you see how the club is more behind you, and the club is more lower, right? Yeah. We don't want like this, okay? We don't want like this, yeah. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, that's better. Good. All right, let's try. That's the transition feel. Let's see. Yeah, so half speed again. Yes, really, really good there. how that one feel? Slow. Slow? I mean, it was good. It was really good. Yeah. You can feel a difference? Okay, let's do 10 at this speed. Yeah. Sure enough, it hits the ball. Yes. But probably feels like it hits the ball later in this downswing. Yeah. Yes, that's good. Really good. Not as good as the last one. The one before was really good, though. Yeah, so typically I start doing a lot of these cleanups at a partial speed just, to, just so it's easier to. Better, 
just so it's easier to control your body parts a little bit, and then we rev up the speed after. Yeah. No, that better. Yeah, that one looked better. Still the first one I think was the best one so far. Okay. We'll keep going with it. Yeah, I'll do like seven more. Very good. That felt okay? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, I think eventually we're going to, I mean, probably starting this week when you go practice on your own. Very, very good there, Jeremy. Yes, yes. Behind you more, yeah, behind which you. I like, which will force you to rotate harder, right. which I also like. You're going to practice more this winter? Yeah. That's good. That's okay. Not too bad. Most of the yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the impressive thing with Jeremy is the, the practice time could always be a little bit more. And he's still been able to improve quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to this winter with more practice. But hard to fault him as a serial, serial entrepreneur. Like <laughs> good. Really, really good there. Really good. Oh, I'm just going to go open the door for my next guy. Give me one sec. Ron? Yeah. All right, nice to meet you. Come on in. Come on in. I'm just teaching my guy right now. Yeah, you, you can warm up in bay one if you want, okay? Yeah, no worries. Good, really good there. That felt okay? Yeah, so typically we'll start at whatever Jeremy feels like it's half speed. We might go slower if we have to, and then we're going to slowly build the speed back up every six to eight shots until we get back to a full speed. Good, really good. A lot of the times we'll structure the practice with, let's say, like 10 half speeds, um, eight at 70%, six at 90% and then we go back to the half speed ones. We just kind of go 10, eight, six, just to build the movement in there before we do more at full speed. Good, that was really, really good. That felt good? Mm -hmm. Finish looks better too. Yeah. Do you feel anything different in the finish? Uh, I would say just focusing a little bit longer. And yeah, arms. arms are definitely way longer. Nice, good. Love that finish for you. Yeah, the the efficient movement. <laughs> yeah, your, the efficiency of the movement. Yeah, your your full speed, full effort were all into the pull down to start. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very normal <laughs> for a lot of people, actually. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Okay, let's do like 70% speed. Let's see what 70% looks like. Face on looks really good. You're moving well. Yeah, super flowy. Nice, good, really good. Yeah, I'm always a big fan of making sure the swing flows nicely. Um, but that's usually after a couple of months of very firm and strict robotic feeling movements just to, just to establish the structure first yeah. to make sure that the, the movement can support more speed and more flow. Foundation, right? Yes, for sure. Just like, just like the lifting. Yeah. Nice, really nice. 
Really nice there. That felt okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit cold. Yeah, that's not too bad though. Shot a little bit earlier, okay? In the transition. Because okay. remember, you were telling me you felt more delayed before the club hit the ball, right? Yeah. Do you want that feeling? Yes. You feel it more, you feel the delay more, especially when I'm going a little slower? Yes. Yes, you got to shallow up more in transition. Nice, really nice there. That's better. That felt okay? That's all right. Got it. Felt like it was a little bit thin. That's okay. Moved well. There. That was really good. Haha, <laughs> ball went in the hole again. But that was really, really good. What are the odds? Are they going twice in, a, twice in five minutes? <laughs> that ball is like perfect for my 7 iron. Haha. That's the perfect window, eh? What did that, let me see what that launched that. 21 degrees, perfect. Yeah, that's the perfect, the perfect window. <laughs> Twenty-one degrees. It's going in that hole. Yeah, nice and shallow in transition. Pretty good. That felt that felt okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit cooler. You did pull a little bit there. The one before was better. Yeah, show me one really trying hard not to pull your hands down, okay? Okay. Just shallow. Nice, good. That felt less yeah. pulley? Yeah, not pulley. So like a bit higher. Kept yep. Club more fast. I like to hear, watch this. So backswing's good. Mm -hmm. And then you better. Way more rotation than before. Mm -hmm. I like it. Now you can actually see your back at impact now, eh? Nice. That's okay. Nice. Good. Yeah, so, so that's what we're working on with Jeremy right now, just trying to get in there. First things first in the, in the off season is just to get him to pull down the hands less in transition so he can shallow a little bit more in, earlier in transition so he can rotate a little bit harder. So, so that, that's step one of our plan in the off season. Um, hope this helps some of you guys. Um, any questions, leave in the comments below and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys. That's pretty good there, too, Jeremy. Really good there. That's a good one to end the video at. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.